What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ and today I just want to talk to you guys about a question I've been asked and it was when to quit a sport. And I think this is a very interesting question because I know I have a lot of younger viewers who are probably into school sports and this is something that I just feel like is misrepresented as far as how people have an attitude towards it. People act like quitting is something that's inherently bad. The reason why I think that this can be such a big problem is that odds are you won't find what you're best at until you try different things. And this pertains to anything in life, but if you just stick with one sport just because you happen to be in that from the beginning, you're essentially becoming the victim of your circumstances rather than actually finding where your natural talent is. However, there is a balance because you don't want to quit too early and that's often the temptation when it comes to sports. So I'll just give myself as an example. I started playing basketball when I was in third grade and I wanted to quit right away. And my dad basically forced me not to quit. And you know, this may be seen as not a smart decision to force your kid to play a sport, but it did pay off in the long run because I just wanted to quit probably for the wrong reasons. So I ended up playing basketball all the way up to high school. And in the meantime, I tried football and track as well. Out of all of those, track was my best sport. So come senior year of high school, I had to decide whether I was going to just stop competing in track and stop being an athlete in general, or if I wanted to continue in college. It was actually my brother who convinced me to keep competing in track in college. He was a track athlete as well, and he was two years older than me, so he really strongly advised me to do this. And had I quit, I really probably would have stopped working out altogether maybe just a little bit on the side, but it definitely would have negatively affected my life. But then a couple years into college, I quit track and this turned out to be a great decision. And the reason being was it was conflicting with powerlifting because obviously I'm not gonna be able to maximally perform at my best in either one of those sports. What actually ended up happening is I literally almost got kicked off my track team because I was doing my own programming as far as lifting weights. So now you're probably wondering, how do you know for sure if you should quit or if you should just keep going? And in my opinion, the answer is very simple. The moment when you're continuing a sport impedes other opportunities that you would rather pursue, that is when you quit that sport. I told you it was gonna be a simple concept and you might just think, well, that's common sense. But when it comes to actually applying it, I see a lot of people make mistakes because what a lot of people do is they quit a sport just because they're not having fun for a short period of time. Perhaps they had a bad year or a bad month or maybe even just a bad competition. And that's not a good reason to quit. You should quit when you're literally preventing yourself from doing something greater just by boxing yourself into a sport that you already are competing in. I'll give you guys an example. Let's say you're five foot five and you really enjoy football, but you're told you're too small. Let's say you're 114 pounds. Now you can fight through this and I actually do encourage you to build up toughness that you fight through this and prove people wrong. It can be done. However, let's say you reach your limits and you just realize, you know, you're not having fun. Even though this is a sport you enjoy, it's just so tough. You're a bench player and your coach is telling you not to quit. And every day you're just thinking, why wasn't I born taller? Why aren't I just built bigger so I can compete with these guys? But in the meantime, let's say you joined the wrestling team a couple years ago and you happen to be built perfectly for it and you're very naturally talented. In my opinion, that's the type of scenario where that person just needs to quit football and do what they're naturally talented at. Pursue wrestling to the best of their abilities. I know some people say that you should just follow what you enjoy to do rather than focusing on what you're talented at. And personally, I disagree with this for most scenarios because usually you'll simply enjoy what you do, what you originally get into, and if you gave another sport a shot, then you would enjoy that as well. And if you're better at it, you'd probably enjoy it even more. So it's imperative in my opinion, not just to value the sports that you enjoy, but sports that you're actually enjoying at the moment in your given scenario. If you aren't playing, if you're on the bench, you should just quit that sport. I'm gonna be honest. I think that that's the stupidest thing to be a bench player who never plays for a sport. I did that for a while in basketball and that was the biggest waste of my time and I honestly regret it. Not only is putting the organization of the school above yourself silly in a scenario where you're just supposed to have fun, but it also can lower your self-esteem because now you're used to being a bench player. You think of yourself as less than those people. You think this is where you deserve to be. I know some people will disagree with that, but in my opinion, if you're not helping people in a meaningful way, which sports just isn't doing, that's charity work, that's something meaningful, or if you're not having fun for yourself, then you should just stop doing whatever it is you're doing. That's it guys, that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching guys. Peace! What's the move? Can I tell the truth? If I was doing this for you, then I have nothing left to prove. Nah, this for me though.